Welcome to the Solemn Vanguard channel. Today we had another stream and so of course we need to cover the reveals. First of all, we have two cards from the new set DBT02. These two were for the Zorga ride line. Now, if you still need to buy anything from Overdress, whether it's Startex or Nation pre-orders or anything like that, go to 50cards.shop and use the code Solemn for a discount. Now for the card, first of all, we have an order. As you know, Zorga is all about orders. It's called Regurgitation from the Underworld. And the art is really cool in my opinion. You play this with Counter Blast 1 and Soul Blast 1. Choose any player's rear guard, retire it, choose up to one card with the same grade as that card from your drop and call it to R. If this is part of Alka Magic, you may choose up to two instead of one to call. So this card nukes something and then gives you plus two to field. That is very strong, especially for a Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1. Like, this is not a double rare for no reason. This is a very, very strong card. Also note that no matter what, from now on, Stoikea will always have a way to nuke stuff. Even just in the regular deck, in the Magnolia deck, you can play this as well. I'm not saying you should because of maybe the resources being too high, but at least you have access to it. If there's ever some type of rear guard that's way too strong, now you know, okay, we can nuke it. Then we have a triple rare with beautiful art, Rogue Headhunter. This thing looks so evil. It says continues on R. If you played an order this turn, this unit gets power plus 5k. That's okay, whatever. It's a better beat stick. But then, although when this unit is placed on R, the next time you would Alka Magic an order and play it this turn, reduce that cost by Counter Blast 1. So just like the other girl that reduces the soul cost, this one reduces the Counter Blast cost. That's pretty good because I did feel like Zorga was currently lacking in the Grade 1 department. Obviously the Mantis is like a solid play on turn 1 and turn 2, but beyond that I always felt like, eh, what are we really doing with these Grade 1s? So this one seems to be solid utility and again, I love that art so much. Now beyond that you had the producer Q&A and I picked three little things out of this that I personally found interesting. One of the questions was why are main sets now three months apart? And again, I'm gonna paraphrase, I can't just give his entire answer, I'm also not Japanese, I'm unable to speak it, but I listened to Chris's translation and I picked a few words. So the very, very short, context-lacking answer is that they now need time for playtesting because they know people were very bummed out about power creep in the past. So this is really good. This is them clearly communicating. Like, I know I've been very positive about Mori P so far already, and once again, like, I don't know, this is like really good. Bushiroad is really being very open about what they know people are not happy with or weren't happy with and what they're now trying to change and so forth. So that's interesting. That's why they're um, keeping those releases three months apart. Another question was, until when will you support V Premium? And the thing was, I didn't really hear much of an answer, but he did bring up two interesting points. Now, the first one was that they need to do maintenance on the premium meta, so they're aware of certain issues going on, and so we'll see what, what happens there. And also that they're aware of a difference between overseas, that's here, and Japan, because there are certain releases, like promos, that we didn't get. So that's kind of alluding to the fact probably that the premium exclusive set in August is probably a reprint set to kind of fix certain things, bring certain promos over, maybe missing cards and so forth. Another little bit of info that he seemed to drop, it's more like a, is it a leak? Is it a hint? I don't know. But they were saying that cards that were strides in the past might show up in Overdress because strides, if you remember, were basically a way to look into the future and guess what? Overdress is in the future. So we have these encounter cards that some people were very mad about. And if you check out their frames, it's like you're looking into the past. It's like a way to look in a different time. And so we're wondering now, will we see certain strides because they're now in encounter form or, or, or how will that work? We don't know. But I found it interesting that that would be, was being mentioned because it came very out of left field. Now I can already see people going, oh, that means strides are coming. No. No, that's not what anyone is saying. Don't get crazy. Just interesting info to uh, keep in mind. It's very possible that we'll see some familiar faces. Not all the time. They did see, say encounter cards once again are probably only going to be once a year, but it's possible we will see some familiar faces in that way. So that was just a quick news. Hope you found it interesting. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Ciao.